Hey gang, Jack Lair here, uh, just with a video response for NT1138 and Dan. Uh, the question was, what are the top three games that you want to see, or gaming franchises rather, that you want to see make a comeback, get some life breathed back into them? Now, uh, two of them I kind of ruled out because technically they're on their way back, or they've never gone away. Uh, the honorable mention is Ultima, the Ultima series, but it still has Ultima Online, which is still going strong. And that game is still amazing, uh, in case none of you have checked it out. It is an MMO, does have a monthly subscription, and it is fairly outdated, but it definitely has the hooks and the roots from the Ultima series in it. Now, coming in at number three, and there was another one that was kind of jostled around in there, but number three, I'm going to come up with Qbert. That's right, Qbert. Qbert, for those of you who don't know, was a kind of a puzzle, I guess it would be a puzzle platformer, because technically you jumped between platforms, but just imagine what they could do with it now. Think of, like, instead of just that little cubed pyramid, there would be a cube that would rotate and you would have to make make patterns and I just think that that would be amazing to bring back Qbert and not go all crazy, don't give him a voice, still make him the non-talking thing, still have the little springy snake chasing after him. That would be awesome. I have no clue who owns the rights to Qbert. I don't even know if it's lost to time. I'm sure someone out there does and they're just not doing anything with it. Number two is a game series that I would love to see get brought back. And the time is now, or the time was actually a, a year ago, or maybe a few months ago. But unfortunately, I don't think this is ever going to happen, because Microsoft bought the company that made this, and it's who knows where, if they'll ever get a chance to make another one. And that is Killer Instinct. Now. A lot of people are like, ah, whatever, That's, that fighting game was horrible. I loved it. It gave me combos, it gave me projectiles, it gave me interactive stages. Imagine if they took, imagine if, oh, imagine if Nether Realms got Killer Instinct and was able to take the storytelling from the Mortal Kombat that just came out and cram in Killer Instinct and the combos and the flying and the swords and the werewolves. Ah! I love Killer Instinct. And Killer Instinct never got a proper release. Why isn't it on Killer Instinct and Killer Instinct 2? Come on! On Xbox Live, PSN, Steam, I'll take it on the DS. Anything! Come on, guys! But Microsoft owns Rare now and uh, all they do is I don't really know what Rare does anymore. Not a lot from what I've seen. We got Viva Pinata. Yeah. Uh, but the last series, and this is the series that, please if anyone is out there, and I have no clue if developers troll YouTube and watch, but there was once a game where every game you were the hero. You were the knight in shining armor, you were the, the person out to defeat the evil bad thing. There was one that always sticks in my mind. Because you were the bad guy. And you weren't even like a partial bad guy, you were a complete and utter jerk. And the, you got to build traps, and you summoned in evil wizards and demons and trolls and all kinds of stuff. And if your workers weren't working hard enough, you slapped them around and got them to go faster. Speaking of Dungeon Keeper and Dungeon Keeper 2. Now, they were made by Bullfrog, which Bullfrog is long gone by now, but somebody has to have the rights out there. And if you do, that is the game that I would love to see come back. It was an amazing game at the time, and I haven't been able to find a copy, sadly. I don't know, maybe it's on uh, good old games. I'll have to take a look once I get done with this, because I've gotten so riled just thinking about, oh, playing it and wandering around and having my 
wizards wander around, pick up a chicken and go, Bzzz, and then it turns into a little plate of chicken and they eat it because they're hungry. And then the, the, the heroes come in and you zap them with lightning and you just, oh, it was such a good game. Because it was basically, you got a certain amount of time to set everything up and then the heroes would come in. And the object was to defeat the heroes so that you could keep the, all the money that you had mined out of the walls and stashed away in your treasury. So you were the dungeon keeper. You were the guy who was making all of the, the just horrible, nasty places that the heroes had to go to to vanquish the evil. So that's uh, the three that I would like to see. I would love to see a new Qbert. Uh, I think with modern technology, you got just looking at things like, uh, even though a lot of people are kind of down on it now, uh, Fez, seeing that, gave me the idea of like, man, what if they could do with Qbert? Qbert, oh. Killer Instinct, never got a proper release. At least throw one out on Xbox Live. Come on, guys. Give it to me. And the last, Dungeon Keeper, where you are the bad guy. The only thing that came close, and I want to say, if I had a Venn diagram, it would be like, Dungeon Keeper over here, and a little bit of slice went into that, is Overlord. Which, you were kind of the same thing, but it wasn't the same, because you didn't have, it just didn't have that evil feel, it had the humor feel. I mean, this was just, ugh. Anyways, uh, those are my top three. Uh, thank you as always. It was a great question, uh, Ed and Dan. And as always, thank you for watching and play on.